Hey, what's up, YouTube? My name is TrueGram, and this is going to be episode 19 of Let's Play, uh, Let's Play Pocket Monsters Blue, uh, with a little bit of Pokemon Red. Uh, in the last episode, we came here, and we, uh, we, we needed to make some trades, so I'm going to make the trade for Electabuzz, and, uh, the trade for Nidoqueen, and I will see you guys, uh, after I make the trades. Okay, so we've made the trades, uh, traded for Pocky to, uh, to complement Rocky, uh, as you can see, Electabuzz, and I also traded for Charles, uh, complement to Queen Elizabeth is, uh, Prince, or King Charles, and, uh, the reason why I traded for him is because, look at him, he's, he's level 60, I mean, I used him pretty much my entire time playing, uh, playing Red when I was playing alongside, and so I couldn't just let him go, and so, uh, I'll probably only use him like when I'm training off screen and stuff, but uh, but it's just it's cool to have. So anyway, I'm gonna do a, a little bit of inventory management, and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so uh, this is what I have for now. I have a uh, Lancelot in my part in my uh, Pokemon party. Uh, Elizabeth, Roshi, and Marcel. Um, Switch Lancelot to the front, because we're going to go confront the 7th gym. It's the fire-type gym, uh, going to be facing Blaine. It's pretty, pretty sweet, if you ask me. Uh, this is kind of a cool gym. Yeah, better take some burn heals, ah ha ha, because he's the fire-type gym. Pokemon Quiz. Get it right and the door opens to the next room. Get it wrong and you face the trainer. Alright, so... Caterpie evolves into Butterfree. No, not directly. Wait, what? Caterpie evolves into Metapod, which Metapod evolves into Butterfree. Yeah, that, that transitive property doesn't really work there, if you ask me. Um, I actually, I did know that that would happen just so you guys know, but I, I wanted to show that off, how that's weird, that even though Metapod evolves, or even though, uh, Caterpie evolves into Metapod, they still say, yeah, uh, Caterpie evolves into Butterfree, because it, but there's a stage in between, so, I mean, that one can kind of go either way, if you're using logic, cause, but, um, I'm pretty much gonna answer all of the rest of the questions right, because there's no weird thing like that, um, and, go back and fight the trainers, uh, not showing them, but, uh, I thought, I thought that that would be a good idea to show off, to show that off. Oh, and I should have switched in What's-His-Face to give him, a, give him some training. Because so I do think Lancelot will evolve in this episode, because, uh, I think it's, like, 28, and, uh, the level difference and the fact that his trainers, uh, will, will be getting some decent experience, so, back in the Lancelot. Uh, we're probably also going to be taking on um, the 8th gym in this episode because it's going to be right there and we don't really have to take too long doing anything in this episode because we're not catching any pokes. We're just uh, just training and taking on these last two gyms. So we're, we should be able to do it. I'm optimistic. Hopefully we don't like something stupid. Doesn't, oh, I accidentally used body slam. Things like that where if I accidentally keep using moves that I don't mean to use like body slam. Then, uh, then we should be good to go as far as uh, taking on this, this next two gyms. Oh, don't get a level with Lancelot, unfortunately. Defeated the burglar. I, I always liked the the burglar's uh, like battle sprite thing. I always thought it was pretty cool. So is this the one? Yeah, Pokemon quiz. Yeah, we understand how it works. They said that the same thing last time. Nine certified league badges. No, there are eight. Of course I'm right. Pokemon Master, champ in the making. You gotta know your stuff if you're gonna be the champion. 
Oh, Alright, yep, we've read all this before. <laughs> it has to show us every time for some reason. No, it evolves twice, that's three evolutionary stages. See, that's another one though, like, you could s it, it doesn't actually, like, go through the process of evolution three times, but it has three different, like, stages. So that one can be a little confusing. It's not really all that hard, though. Really, none of them are all that hard. Thunder moves are effective against ground element type Pokemon. No, they're not. Uh, ground type is immune to electric type. So, I believe this is our last one, uh, or we have one more after this. Get right. Yes, we understand how this works. Okay. Yes, that is also true, because uh, stats can change depending on the Pokemon that you fight. And they're, uh, I don't, actually I don't think nature's existed in this game, but depending on the, they didn't. But depending on the, on the Pokemon you fight and the EVs, they can be different, so. This, this is the last question, and then I'm gonna go back and, uh, and fight the other guys that I skipped over. That's not even a move. That's really dumb. No, but uh, I'm gonna go go back and uh, fight all these guys, and I'll, I'll probably speed it up, because uh, maybe cutting it out won't be as exciting. But so, uh, here we go. I kind of wanted to... I wish I could like speak in like a Joker voice, and I could say, so Here we go. After all of that, we're here. Uh, that's the party we're going with for this battle. And uh, Blaine, the leader of Cinnabar Gym, uh, has a fiery Pokemon that will incinerate any challengers. 
Better have a burn heal. The puns. He's like Attila the pun. God, this music is so epic. Ah, oh, nothing beats this. There, there's no video game music. It is more epic. Wait. Wait. He just used a super potion on his Growlithe. It's at full freaking health! What? Oh, uh, Lancelot grew to level 26 also. That's nice. Two more levels uh, until evolution, I believe. Hopefully we can gain one more uh, in this battle. That'd be nice. Alright, let's, uh, let's go to Roshi this time. Why not? Just change the... He... he did it again. What the heck is going on with, uh, with Blaine today? Did he, do... did he like, do some... Oh, with, like, a very intense drug that would... That would make him unable to think. Like, did he do heroin or something? Oh my god, look at how majestic Rapidash is. Rapidash is quite the majestic looking Pokemon in this game. Doesn't even look like fiery so much as just like. Like its hair is. Like it's. Instead of having the, like the fire tail, it looks more like it has a. A fur tail that's like very bushy and flowing in the wind. Just quite majestic. I don't know how else to put it. Like, that word was invented for for Rapid Ash's sprite in this game. Practically, it just it fits it so well. And uh, here's Blaine's best Pokemon, Arcanine. Uh, if he uses a Super Potion on this thing too, then I'm gonna just stop playing. Not really, but I'd just be I'd be very surprised. Arcanine is a pretty good Pokemon. Oh, and he did it again. He did it twice in a row. I'm without words. I have no idea what I should say to that. And then he didn't use it when it would have actually helped him. Well, that's the first generation AI for you right there. Not very well programmed. I mean, that was pretty stupid. <laughs> and Lancelot does indeed grow to level 27, so... Oh, and Roshi to 42, sweet. Skull Bash. Uh, we can get rid of it. We can get rid of Withdraw. That's kind of hard to say, actually. It's slightly tongue twisty. Yeah, you, you just burnt out, Blaine. Alright, uh, what? What uh what TM does he Oh uh we need to we need to make room for our Let's let's make room for that. Alright, um what don't we need? Let's uh let's use a rare candy on Lancelot to get it to evolve. Oh, it doesn't evolve yet? Let's use another rare candy and see does it evolve now? No. What the heck, what level does that thing evolve? Could have sworn it was 28. Maybe it's 38. All right, whatever. TM38 is Fire Blast. And uh, can any of my guys learn it? Because I would, I would not mind having Fire Blast. Oh my God, Elizabeth is so powerful. God, what a beast. That is literally like the best moves you could have on that thing. Except I, I didn't I don't uh, I didn't give it Thunderbolt. I gave that to Marcel so Marcel could have a better uh better move set. But I mean Elizabeth is just so powerful at this point. It's pretty ridiculous. 
But anyway, I'm gonna go get ducks out of the PC, and uh, we're gonna fly over to uh, Vermilion, no, Viridian City. And uh, we're, we're in the sky to Viridian City. Which is, because we're not really on the road, so we are in the sky to Viridian City. I don't even need to heal yet. I'm gonna do the same thing that I did uh, with the last gem and uh, speed up the battles with the with the normal trainers, and uh, I'll I'll be talking over the over the bad dudes, the big bad dudes, the wolf, the big bad wolf dudes. Champ in the making. Don't even know who he is. Hmm, interesting. Ground type Pokemon, and uh, that's about all you need to know. And also, you, it might be worth mentioning that I don't really remember the layout of this area all that well. Wait, he's the first guy. How would we be running out of steam? I don't know. Well, uh, well, here we go. Okay, now Lancelot is evolving. I could have sworn it was level 28, but oh well. We're gonna go from the uh, the, the kind of weenie looking Dratini to the much more badass looking Dragonair. But uh, we still have one more uh, one more form to go with this thing, so. And here we are, the final gym leader. Uh, wonder who it is. Looks like a pretty familiar face, uh, if you recall. And, uh, guess who? Uh, yeah, Team Rocket's not gonna get resurrected here, Geo. Sorry about that. Let's just take a moment and listen to this music. Oh my god, I love this music, and I hate the surf has to interrupt it. It's just so epic, it's the best. There's there's nothing better. No, but uh, Lancelot should do pretty good work in here. Um, pretty much most guys are going to be uh, pretty vulnerable to him. 
I am, however, going to use Roshi for uh, for this Doug Trio, just because it's going to be faster than Lancelot, and Lancelot's only level 31, so it can't re it doesn't really have the uh, the ability to tank too many hits. Even though I can dish out some decently hard ones, I'm only going to use them against uh, Poxy's faster than. Or if I really need him, I'm because pre I'm pretty sure you can take one hit from a from a Pokemon, but I'm a little uh, cautious about using him beyond one hit. Nido Queen. Let's use Marcel, just for sake of variety. Cause uh, prey on his poison typing with the Psychic. God, this is gonna do so much. I feel like, cause Nido Queen special is pretty low. I feel like that would kill two of them. Especially it crit, that would kill like three of them. That would kill three Nido Queens. Or it would make them faint. Excuse me, P Pokemon don't die. Stay in with Marcel. And go for another Psychic. And that'll probably take Nido King out as well. Oh, nope. Nido King has slightly better special. Because, uh... Ah, oh, poison me. Just because, uh, the, the whole special stat was only one stat. It wasn't, like, special attack and special defense. And since Nido Queen's attack is slightly... Er, yeah, Nido King's attack is slightly better than Nido Queen's. Uh, on both spectrums, it, uh... It makes it so he can take that hit. And now we have Rhydon, the big guns, and I feel like using Thomas on him. I want to see if at level 38 he can one-shot with uh, Solar Beam, and I'm really confident that he can. Oh, Guard Spec might make it so he can take it, actually. Okay, that's good that Horn Drill missed. Horn Drill is a one-hit KO move, only 30% accuracy, though, so uh, the risk is not really worth the reward. If you only hit it less than one out of three times on average, so that's it for Giovanni, and that's it for the gyms. We get the Earth Badge. Uh, it's uh, that's actually pretty darn easy. I, I actually anticipated this gym to be really easy just because my uh, my party that I have. I just have so many pokes that can prey on a uh, prey on all the. All of the um, all the weaknesses of the guys, and uh, we also get Fissure, which is a pretty cool move. The one-hit KO move, like Horn Drill. Uh, again, only 30% accuracy, so I'm not going to be using it on any of my guys, but uh, it's cool nonetheless. And also that that is going to be uh, it's going to be it for this episode. We took on two gyms, and so uh, in the next episode we have a uh, we have a couple birds to go after, if, and. Uh, that's all I'll say about that. Pretty much everybody probably knows what I mean. Uh, we have to complete the Pokedex anyway, so going after birds, it's like pretty obvious, right? Not being cute, the true gram. Come on. No, but I, I'll see you guys. In